New at 10, Muskogee police have been busy dealing with armed robberies. Another happened last night at the Taco Latia on Eastside Boulevard. Only on Fox 23, Eddie Randall is live after getting an exclusive interview with the victim. Eddie. Shay Jacqueline Velasquez walked me through what she calls one of the scariest moments of her life. She fought back tears in that interview and tells me she just wants this man caught. It was my life. And at that moment, I thought he was, everything just flashed back and I didn't know what was gonna happen. I, I was sure that he was gonna shoot me. Jacqueline Velasquez tells me she was in the back getting ready to close the restaurant when a man walked in with a gun. Uh, the cook, she told me that she just looked at me like she was in shock and he came in the kitchen and he pointed the gun at me. She says the man had on all black and had his face covered. All you could see was his eyes. He has brown, dark eyes. She tells me he walked her to the register with the gun pointed at her chest and told her to give him the money. Unsure of what to do, she tells me she turned to the person in charge of the restaurant. And I was trying to ask her what to do, but I, as soon as I was asking her, I guess he got mad and he pointed the gun straight at my head. She says she gave him the money and he immediately left. But she says the images of what happened remain in her mind, replaying like a never-ending nightmare. I can barely get a new seat because it's still in my head. It's a, this never happened to me, so I don't know. It's like that image of him and the way that he looked is in my mind, and I'm, I'm afraid. Velasquez says the other employees at the restaurant have become a support system for her. They've allowed her to take some time off as she gets through this crazy situation. Muskogee police are still looking for that suspect. Reporting live tonight in Muskogee, covering news that matters. I'm Eddie Randall, Fox 23 News.